So it's a New Year's Eve. Wish to wish everyone a happy, happy new year for 2024. So yes, I think next year could be very uh, eventful. Could be. Mm. Um, I'm thinking about focusing mainly on the UFOs and uh, how they might be showing up next year. Maybe there might be more disclosure events. So I've been thinking about this and I want to start off with some kind of a, uh, a dark kind of question. Actually, I'm going to touch on some themes, mainly, mainly UAP related. The question I pose is, what if this is the truth? What if this is the truth? That we humans are property of the Elohim, non-human intelligences. Let's say some faction of the... Aliens. So Elohim is like a, the biblical aliens in the Bible, isn't it? Anyway, what if we are humans are property? They are property. They made us. They created us. Have been intimately involved with the propagation of our species and civilization. They directed world events. They were responsible for civilizations collapsing and maintaining other civilizations but they're actually directly in control they're not just craft flying in the air they're not lights in the sky but they're actually directly involved in our species that we are their property that they made us and we were products of genetic engineering uh, maybe there were different uh, life forms in the past and they did experiments and you had these various homo sapien or homo erectus or whatever all these different uh, organisms that uh, all of this all of the life is like some kind of an experiment that this planet is not ours but theirs or humans in our present form could not exist were it not for their genetic or their Oh, uh, yeah, for, for their intervening into our genetic history. Um, so the question is, so, uh, so what if this is the reality? Like, uh, we're, we're like uh, a property on planet Earth. And there's a, a documentary <laughs> which sort of does, uh, which talks about this. It's called... Um, I guess I'll just cut and paste it here. Uh, it really does uh, go into this. This is uh, uh, it's called. It's called what is it called? Alien. It's called Alien Colony Earth Human Harvest. <laughs> it, it does a good sort of overview of uh, different issues related to this. Um. So what if that's the truth, right? What if that's the truth? So the question if if we are if this is the truth, so if we are property cattle to be used as a resource and we don't have the power to defeat these Elohim, what do we do? Meaning like you know like we can't fight them, they're too strong. They they have the technology to destroy the planet. Uh, they can wipe us out. They I mean, they probably have wiped previous civilizations like you know like they're discovering there are like the, the pyramids were like you know they're 20,000 years old they, they're finding apparently pyramids in uh, you know advanced civilizations that what if they destroyed them because the people in the past they rebelled 
and uh, they've tried to fight back and because they're humans and all tried to fight back they were destroyed they caused they maybe they, they made islands sink caused the floods cause, you know maybe they destroyed the green the ice caps and that flooded a lot of societies they could do that you know um uh, so what if the, the reason we are the governments don't want to tell us they want to keep us ignorant is because it because they know this they know the history of what's going on they know that the aliens are in control they they also know and suspect that if humanity were told the truth that the people would get angry and they would start to rebel and then when the people start to rebel the aliens will just say okay we're gonna have to destroy them again so the human being the governments decide okay you gotta you gotta keep this secret and how to control this so you know we can keep the population you know and then uh, and on that topic of whether we are uh, like a <laughs> um you know there's this uh, there's this uh, reddit post where the, i don't know if this is real or not but it's, it actually goes into this topic of like are we like food for the aliens it's an interesting read uh, Apparently this is like some whistleblower from the government, but it could be, I don't know if it's true or not, but it actually goes into that idea. So the question is, is resistance futile to borrow a saying from the Borg from Star Trek? If we are like slaves, cattle, is resistance futile? So the question is, what do cattle think when they are kept in a pen and sent to the slaughterhouse? Like, we are like the cattle, we are not at the top of the food chain. Um, uh, so, you know, is it better to keep them ignorant so as not to make them stress over what is happening to them? So, so are our governments being uh, humane to us by keeping us ignorant? Because if they told us the truth, we would get very angry and upset. So maybe they want to keep this a secret because it's like if you're like a cattle, like if you're food and... You, as long as you don't know what's going on, you can just be happy and pretend like everything's okay. Even though things that there's a lot of problems on planet Earth, it's it's much worse to know that you're like food being farmed for another species, or not, maybe not even food. Maybe you're like uh, there's another interview where uh, there was this interview where this person was talking about like how you know maybe we're just uh, oh yeah the, the remote viewing in this remote viewing. Um, yeah, remote viewing here. Uh, this person was talking about like how we might just be like, uh, you know, like we're used as soldiers. Like these aliens, these aliens, they fight with each other. It's not just all one group. They fight with each other, and they, and some negative ETs are using this planet like a prison to create humans and to use them as uh, soldiers uh, to fight mercenaries and they even use it as slaves and you know, human trafficking is like used by these groups for all you know because if you imagine if you're like an advanced species and you want to let's say you want to extract minerals from some planet you don't want to do the work yourself uh, you can either build robots or you can actually create humans and then let them do the work for you. So they could be like used as like a, you know, like slave labor, literally. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah, so are we humans being kept ignorant for the same reason? Because our predicament is dire and there is nothing we can do to free ourselves from it. You know, uh, I just want to also say that, you know, ego and emotion are Achilles heel. The easiest way to manipulate and control human beings is through emotion and ego, you know, like, uh, that's, I don't, that's sort of a related thing. I just, just see how, like, how, how are the governments keeping us all under control? It's through ego and emotion by dividing and conquering, you know, putting one side against the other. It's so easy to manipulate people. Uh, through the media, you know, keep people all divided, fighting against with each other while the aliens do, you know, just control things behind the scenes. You know? um, 
so some of the some of the videos I can touch on this like so this is an interview you know this is, this is about this uh, Trump and whether there was an election was stolen and this this in this interview they talk about like how the idea there is a cabal and it's manipulating humanity behind the scenes you know and and this is a good video where if you want this idea it's like we are we are souls and we are like again even if you watch the remote viewing video they talk about this like how this like this earth is like a trap and and we uh like if you, like we come into earth like like we have we have souls and our bodies are just like a containers of the souls and the and and then the bad ETs they want to entrap us within Earth like they eventually they sort of devised some kind of a technology where after when you die you you your mind gets wiped and then uh, they use the concept of karma to guilt and manipulate you into like making into into they want you to think that you did something wrong and the, and you have to go back to earth to reincarnate to sort of make up for the bad thing that you did so they're using the concept of karma to manipulate you to reincarnate back on earth so simply they can keep on using you as a resource and this this video they talk about like how to re how to escape this reincarnation cycle and uh, you know it's about meditation and and not allowing your because you trying to anyway i thought this was a good video just for some kind of a hope to escape from this hell of reincarnation on this prison planet um oh wait a minute i have to repeat it then i gotta uh, um yeah so, so here it is this is uh talking about like how the 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 in the bible who are the elohim what are the, what are the original meanings of the words mean and here we have to fight the elohim we might have these guys might be showing up soon they might be in the moon and they might be showing up and we might have to fight them uh this is a remote viewing and this is an interesting twitter thread where a few months ago there was this huge explosion of a house and this thread has got 20 something million views and they're talking about how like this was like some kind of an assassination by the deep state to cover up corruption about spying and uh, technology you know the, the deep sea network cables and all that um yeah i think i mentioned this about you know these humans look like aliens i guess i don't know if you uh this is uh oh this is a good uh, video about you know like how some questions were asked on next year about about uap disclosure and in this interview i think this is where they talk about like how the governments have uh, you know missed the boat they should have disclosed this much earlier but now no matter how they try to disclose it it's, it's gonna be one big mess uh, if pe if people find out the truth, they're gonna get so angry uh, because they've been lied to and manipulated, and you know, it's just gonna be one big mess. So anyway, so those are some of the themes for next year on on this UFO related topic. I think I think there's a there's a very distinct distinct probability that uh, we're gonna get more disclosure and more. Uh, possible i'm not sure if the aliens will show up in physical form i mean they already are showing up on you know but i don't know if they we're gonna get something like a landing on the white house or anything uh, i'm not sure some things to sort of think about so yeah having said all that i i you know um uh, think about the reincarnation try to get out of the reincarnation trap you know Wait a minute, that's not it. Oh, that's the wrong video. What the what am I doing? What does it do? Oh shit, no wonder.
No, 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 this is the actual video. Yeah, this is a double. Oh no, this is this is not the reincarnation. This is the Oh yeah, this is the deep state assassinating. I know it's <sighs> how do I check this thing? Anyway, uh having said all of this negative stuff, I think we should still try and try and develop don't try to be too high or too low. Try and develop like a place of equanimity. Equanimity. But try to develop a place of balance. Okay, don't become like this the this psychic kind of energy machine, you know, that, that you can feed off of you maybe. Don't become a battery in the matrix. Uh try and develop and uh, contentment, inner peace, contentment. Uh, but I wish everything happened here. I think it might be a very tumultuous year. But they say very uh, entering the age of Aquarius, and because of the energies, uh, you know, we're getting close to the galactic. Some energy is coming from the galactic center, and we're moving into an age of Aquarius, and things should be more positive. Some people say that so there might be something positive to look forward to, but we might have to go through some uh, tumultuous years uh, as people learn the truth. So our existing knowledge systems become questioned and authority gets questioned and things start falling apart. It might be difficult. Anyway. <sighs>